Yeah, he, we're playing the game. This is a social deduction game, kind of like Werewolf. Okay. Um, so what it is is we have multiple ideas. identities. The first one, when you get a bite in your opening hand, I mean, if, means you are the werewolf. Okay. If you get a gold coin, you are the villager. Okay. So these are all shuffled, and then they're randomly chosen. It's a secret of it. So when you look at it, don't tell anybody what you have. Look at it. If you have the bite card, you are now the werewolf. If you have a coin, you are a villager. Now then everybody else will draw three cards. One, two, three, just updated, hold on to those three. I didn't see those, you know. Yeah. Some might be different just because they're all um, randomly stacked. Three cards. Sure these, these are in your hands. And they're all different. They all got their own little different. One, two, and three. So, uh, nobody saw that. All right, so I draw three cards. Now look at the cards you got. If each, if everyone got uh, three bite cards in their hand when they drew them, you are also now a werewolf, but you don't want to tell anybody. Even the okay. other werewolf. You got to get three? Three bite cards to be a werewolf. Uh -huh. If you got a wound card in there, the wound cards will take you out of the game if you get three wound cards. But there are ways to prevent it. If you have a charm card, it prevents the bite. If you have a salve or a salve, depending on who you are, it prevents the wound. Okay. So the game is played out with the deck face up in front of you. Like this. Okay. So. If it's my turn, I got this card here. Awesome. Okay. This is a gold card. Gold is a victory point card at the end of the game if your team or faction wins. Okay. So, the game is pretty easy. I've got a gold card here. I say, who wants a gold card? 10 a.m. Everyone should raise their hands because the gold card is victory points if your team wins. So, I decide who gets it. I like you. You get this one. The Why do you? Because you're the one who does it. Because I'm the one who has the deck. Now, let's go with another one. It's got these oh, but here's here. where the problem comes um, along. If you decide, there's Your two turn. More expansions for You've got the if you bite card. Later, you can buy them online or you the can bite card is what the werewolves use to turn um, human. This adds the problem is you have to choose right. one of us in the so game to get this bite card. Now, if you choose uh, randomly, the they might think you're the werewolf. And then early in the game, you don't want everyone to know. Thanks so or you could ask somebody like, hey, who can take a bite card? So then you'd ask, who can take a bite card? And I would be like, well, I actually have a charm in my hand that can prevent the bite. Mm -hmm. So then you can decide for me or somebody else in the game. So let's say you chose me, so I get it. Now the problem is, I could be the werewolf, and the bite card is my fodder, so you gotta kinda watch out how many I take. So that's what happens if the werewolf gets too many bite cards? The werewolf has got a lot of fodder for the evenings. Okay. Now as we play, we've got... Night cards, which are marked on the back, is yellow. Okay. But the deck plays face up. We come up. Boom. We, it's nighttime now. We got a seance card. Seance says, place this face up in front of any player. If they're dead or out of the game, they have to... They must publicly admit to which team they are when they die. So they'd be like, all right, Daryl says he was on Team Werewolf. Could there be more than one werewolf? There could be. Okay. So, werewolf? Yeah, so he was a werewolf. So everyone now thinks he's a werewolf. Which if somebody else in the game is a werewolf, might take the solution off him. Okay. But that's, now this is where the game comes where I told you that uh, the werewolf can hand out bite cards. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at your hand. Yeah. Now I should have like 12 cards in my hand because I've taken a few. So you're going to look. You're going to take one card in your hand, you're going to pass it to the right, and one to the player to the left. Oh. If you are a villager, you cannot pass the bite card. The bite cards are only passed by werewolves. So if by chance you get a bite card from one of your neighbors, you know at least one of them is a werewolf. And what would stop you from just denouncing them? Because you don't know who's it going to be. Because after you draw, or after you pass all the cards, you place them face down on top of the other cards that the other two players have put there, and then you're going to shuffle, then pick up your hand. Oh, so all you know now is there are two cards in your hand that you didn't have there before, and if one of them happens to be a bite card, one of your two neighbors is a werewolf. Oh, okay, so you didn't so, know you got, aha, the white right can give me a bite. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So now we've got that one. Now we got night one done. Now we head towards night two. And if you have three, you end up being a werewolf yourself, yes. right? Yes, or three wounds, you die. Okay. Uh, but each thing can be prevented by having a charm or uh, a sad. Okay, interesting. Now, when we get down to date night two, you kind of want to play a bit more aggressively, but not too over the top because this. it's getting closer to the end. Or you need to tell people that you used your charm no yourself. To, to you do can, it, but it could if be you yours. want people to not, rally against you or for you, depending on how you know, it's a little manipulation. Okay. Sure. But now right. we're on. Or you can just keep it in your hand, but otherwise they don't know. Right? Yes. You can say, "Ah, oh, that negated that." Okay. Yeah. So now we get a final. Or is the final night card? Okay. okay. Th pretend this says final night. Okay. <laughs> The final night card comes out. It's the last night. Okay. So this is round three, we're done. And this one says target any living player and place his face up in front of him. If they're a human, they get one wound. If they're a werewolf, they take two. Oh, cool. Shoot everybody. Basically, will die. Exactly. So then what you do is you take cards, pass them to the left, right, like normal. 
Then you look at your cards, and now it's time to announce your identity. Starting with the original werewolf, which in this case was me, I go, Rawr! Now if I turned you, you growl, and then you growl, and you growl until everyone is gone. But if one villager survives, the villagers win. If all the villagers are gone, and there's one werewolf left, or everyone is a werewolf, the werewolves win. Yay! Okay. And then that's where the gold comes in. The gold is your victory points. Okay. So if your faction or team wins, you get one gold for win, or one victory point for winning, and then one for each gold in your hand. Thanks so much. Okay. So, so the other team can still win, I guess. Uh, if they're all dead. If they're all dead, no. If they're dead, then nobody gets a victory point. So everyone dies because okay. of the wounds. Yeah. If you want to be on my email list, but that's it. But in some of the expansions, like the undead one, says if you die in the game, you become a zombie. And as you're a zombie. You were trying to take out all the other players. Oh, okay. Uh, there are a couple other expansions. One is like, uh, uh, it's got like the holy, or like a cross. The cross prevents two uh, bites, okay. unless you're a werewolf and deals one damage to you. Interesting. So there's different ways with the expansions to manipulate the games. Seems like you want a sort of a larger group though to be really. Uh, five to ten is what the normal set, and if you okay. get the. The deluxe edition, it also comes with an extra pack that allows up to 15 players. Okay, cool. Thanks. How many rounds do you play? Uh, three rounds, and then you could set up the number of, like, you want to do three rounds because it's three nights, and then you could say, I want to do three rounds, five rounds, two rounds, depending on how many victory points you want to get. Thanks, man. Okay, so each round di distributes victory points. Yep. Okay. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day.